Hi friends, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on the subscribe button and keep sharing our videos with your SAP circle. In this video, I'm going to tell you that, is it possible to delete the storage bins which have blocked indicator? Let us check. Go to LS11, give the storage type and the warehouse number. So there are certain bins which have the blocking indicator. Select two of them, click on delete. See here, only empty bins and bins that are not blocked will be deleted. So what we can understand, you can delete only the empty bins without any blocking indicator. If the bin has a block indicator, or bin has some stock, then system will not allow you to delete it. See, nothing happened. In a similar way, you can check any bin which has stock. Select empty, click on indicator, go here, selection options, not equal to X. So you will get the list of bins which have stock. So take this one, which has stock, try to delete it, nothing happened. So if you have the stock or if you have the block indicators, either removal or put away, system will not allow you to delete it. Okay. So during uh, getting that output also, you can filter by using this, uh, you want to have the list of, um, bins which have not blocked or all, okay? So like that you can also filter it. I hope this video has helped you to understand what kind of storage bins can be deleted in from the system. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Hi friends, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you that how to update certain fields in Material Master WMU. Okay. This is similar to other views also. Okay, Recently, I worked on this kind of a change. So I felt like, okay, let's share it, how to use it. So the transaction code, you can directly go as MM17. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you that without any uploading kind of a function. So you can select the table, MLGM, okay. execute it. If you want to change the specific materials, you can pass the list of materials. Otherwise, you can give like that. And warehouse number GK1. Okay. So if you want to change for all or you want to change only for few, like I mentioned that, you can take a decision. Let us take specific materials. I want to take it. Okay. I want to take for to slash n sc16n ml gn table gk1 warehouse and execute it so i want to take only this these five materials Okay, go here and uh, use this paste button so that system will copy all the materials, whether it are 60 or 70, anything it can come. Now execute it. So now go to this option where you can see the list of fields. For example, I want to update bulk storage indicator or yellow edition stock. For example, I want to update yellow edition stock. Okay, now it is blank. I want to update to X, means I want to activate the flag. Put that button and select like this. Then click on this button called carry out a mass change. So it is updated for all the fields. Okay, for example, you wanted to update only for three or you, 
So like that also you can unselect or select, you can do that. So now click on save. So system is updating the allow to addition stock flag for the four materials which we have selected. So once the saving is completed, the changes are completed, system will show you the success message. If there are any issues, that will give you. See, message has been issued, everything is success. You can see all the green, no errors. Now we are going to check this one, allow to addition stock. Okay, that field is somewhere here. Yeah, hello to addition stock. These materials have blank. Just refresh it. See here. For all these materials, hello to addition stock is updated to X. I hope this video has helped you to update any material master fields easily without using any other uh, programs or LSNW. You can practice for different fields and different uh, values. It will give you an enough command. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button before you leave. Have a good day. Hi friends, good morning everyone. How to update the themes of the SAP login? We have multiple different kinds of looks, right? So where can you control this? I'm going to teach you in this video. So I'm already in login. Just slash an EX. Once we come here, this is the SAP GUI. Here you can update our details and all.